Hey guys, this is Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be going over how to determine the hybridization of an atom. The very first step is to draw the Lewis structure. If you're unfamiliar of how to draw the Lewis structure of a compound or an ion, just check out my video about how to do that. Once you have the Lewis structure, you just take a look at the central atom or whatever atoms designated. We'll start with this carbon right here. And then you determine the number of ster the steric number or also called the a number of electron groups, which is the number of atoms and lone pairs that's attached to the atom you're looking at. So if we're looking at the carbon, it's attached to one, two, three, four atoms, or four groups in total, because there's no lone pairs, and four electron groups corresponds to hybridization of sp3. The carbon next to it, it's attached to one group, two group, so two groups hybridization is sp. The carbon next to that, its hybridization is also sp because it's also attached to, to two groups. So it's also sp. Uh, let's take a look at this fluorine over here. This fluorine is not a central atom, but you, you could be asked to determine the hybridization of atoms that are in the very, at the end, not in the middle. But you approach it the same way. We first look at how many groups are attached to this fluorine. We have one, two, three, four. Lone pairs do count as electron groups, so this has four electron groups, which means its hybridization would be sp3. This nitrogen right here, is, it's, it would have one, two, three, four electron groups, so its hybridization is also sp3. This carbon is attached to one, two, three groups, so its hybridization is sp2. This oxygen it's attached to one, two, three groups, so its hybridization is sp2. Now let's take a look at this compound right here. I'm going to take a look specifically at the xenon. The xenon has one, two, three, four, five, six groups that are attached, so its hybridization would be sp3d2. And in all these chlorines, its hybridization, its hybridization will be one, two, three, four, which correlates with sp3. And there you have it. That's how you determine the hybridization of atom. It's really as easy as determining the number of electron groups and then just looking at this table right here. Of course, sometimes you might have to memorize this table for the test, so here's an easy way to do it. It's just to make sure that the superscripts add up to the number of electron groups. So sp, this is s1, p1, 1 plus 1 is 2. This next one, 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. 1 plus 3 plus 1, that's 4, plus 1 is 5. And then 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So you just make sure that the superscripts match up with a number of electron groups. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.